Hi everyone, this is Tyler Nielsen here with Nutri Recovery, and welcome to our macro section. So I want to start this page out by just showing you how to calculate out your macros. So the first step you're going to want to do is go to our calorie calculator, enter your information there and it's going to give you three calorie intake options. You'll have a maintenance, a weight loss, and extreme weight loss. I recommend starting with the weight loss until your body adapts and then once you feel good with that calorie intake you can always drop it down to the extreme weight loss. But just to give you an idea here, a couple things that are very important to know. So this middle part, the blue section, one gram of carbs equals four calories, one gram of fat equals nine calories, one gram of protein equals four calories. So there's a bunch of different macro ratios that you can do for weight loss. This is the one that I did that I had a really good experience with, and there's lots of different opinions out there. But when I was doing weight loss, my macro ratios, my carbs were at 35%. My fat intake was at 30, 30% and my protein intake was at 35%. So with protein, you usually want to get you know 0.825 grams per pound. Um, so I would recommend just you know minimum get that and then if you're training hard every single day, you can do a gram per pound. And so I try to get usually one gram of protein per pound every single day, but your protein intake is very important to hit every day. Now, try to get that from all natural foods. If you can, if you can't hit your protein intake from foods, use protein powder. Protein powder is a great way to hit your goal for the day if you're falling short of it. So that's what I try to do is get as much of my protein intake from foods. And then if I you know, can't hit my goal for that day, if I'm falling short from my meals, I'll just use protein powder to hit my goal. But over here on the left-hand side, we have 1,800 calories. So this is how we're gonna calculate out our carbs. So since we're 1,800 calories for our carbs, you're gonna do 1,800 times 0.35, which is 35%, and that's gonna equal 630. And since one gram of carbs equals four calories, you're gonna do 630 divided by four, and that's gonna equal 157 and a half grams of carbs per day. And you could really just round that up to 160 grams per day. Now the fats down here, since we're on 1800 calories, we're gonna multiply that by 0 0.30, which is 30% of our daily intake. That's gonna give us 540 calories. Now, since fat, one gram of fat equals nine calories, we're gonna go ahead and divide 540 divided by nine. It's gonna give us 60 grams of fat for the day. So protein down here, 1800 calories times 0.35, which is 35%. That's gonna give us 630 calories. And then since one gram of protein equals four calories, we're gonna divide that by four and that's gonna give us 157 and a half grams of protein per day. You can honestly just round that up to 160 grams per day on that one. So the other one we have here is the 2000 calorie a day diet. So over here, your carbs, 2000 times 0.35, which is 35%. That's gonna give you 700 calories. Since one gram of carbs equals four calories, you're gonna go ahead and divide 700 by four, and that's gonna give you 175 grams of carbs a day. And then for fats, 2,000 times 0.30, which is 30%. And since, uh, and then that's gonna come out to 600 calories. And since one gram of fat equals nine calories, we're gonna go 600 divided by nine, which equals 66 grams of fat per day. And then for protein, you're gonna do 2,000 times 0.35, which is 35% of your daily intake. So, and that'll come out at 700 calories. Since one gram of protein equals four calories, go 700 divided by four, it's gonna give you 175 grams per day. So when I saw a lot of my weight loss, I stuck to the 2,000 calories a day diet. And I saw and a lot of the weight just completely melt off and fall off and it just has not came back on. And then there are some days when I really want to trim down fast, I'll adapt over here to the 1800 calorie a day um, diet and I'll actually see, you know, it's more of an extreme weight loss. So I hope this helps you out just on how to calculate out your macros. But your first thing you need to do is go to our calorie calculator, use that, pick out what your calorie intake you want it to be and either pick out the weight loss one or the extreme weight loss one. I recommend starting with the weight loss until your body adapts. And then once you have your calorie intake, just use this video as an example so you can calculate those out. But these macro ratios right here, 35% carbs, 30% fats, 35% protein, it's a really great weight loss macro ratio. I had a great experience from it and lost weight consistently. 
and you'll see weight loss anywhere from you know one pound up to three pounds a week um, by doing this and it's consistent body fat loss not water weight but I hope this helps you out just on how to calculate these out and then as long as you stick to the meal plans you stick to the ingredients I already have all the macros calculated out for every meal so just go ahead and add those up every day for every meal you eat but definitely make sure you're getting your protein intake that's one of the most important ones and your carbs is very important too as well because carbs is your energy it's your fuel to get you through the day but i hope this helps you out and that's it